All right, man. 2020 has been a wild year, yo. Especially with the Twitter world and the uh, social media world and everything that's going on in between. But, man, to, to be honest with you, I'm getting tired of the whole racism thing. It's, it's really getting tired, dude. And sometimes things just happen because you're really stinking at your job and you need some time to develop. I say that to say this. Dwayne Haskins did not get benched because he's quote unquote black. The people that's on the Twitter with the Twitter fingers, they're not in the film room. They're not doing film study. They're not at the practice. They're not seeing this guy's work ethic or whatever. They, they don't do any of that. They just go on Twitter with their emotional responses and everybody's supposed to, what, bow down to that? Nah, negative. Listen. Even when his coach c- came out of college, Urban Meyer said that he wasn't ready. And to be honest with you, he's just a product of bad luck. He's went to Washington football team and they suck. So it maybe people need to look at it from this view. Maybe it's a great idea to put him to the bench so that he could not suck along with the rest of the team. Does anybody ever think about that? Maybe he should just sit a year, maybe two. Just develop, get better, learn to play book, play books, whatever. Learn the speed of the game and develop and mature. His college coach said that. This isn't Ohio State, man. This is the NFL. All right? To the Twitter fingers, I want to say that it's because he's black. Yeah, let me, let me tell you something real quick. Week one started off with nine so-called black starters. I'm going to listen. You had Haskins. You had Cam. Mahomes. Lamar Jackson, Deshaun Watson, Tyrod Taylor before he got hurt in that little scenario, Dak Prescott, Kyler Murray, and Russell Wilson. Are we not understanding that quarterbacks get benched all the time, but the owners do not resemble you so-called black people? That's what you just have to understand, but that's another story for another day. Wouldn't you understand that if you're in a Chinese league, the Chinese owners would look out for their their Chinese counterparts over you? We have to bring common sense back and understand things. Mitch Trubisky got benched for Nick Foles. (laughs) Cam got signed as a free agent and then jumped over Stidham, Jason Stidham in New England to to become the starter. Are we forgetting these things? Are we only remembering or we only see something when it basically benefits our argument because we're mad at the world? Yo, that shit has to stop, man. We're talking about Sam Darnold. The Jets stink. He, they're trash over there. Well, we have to understand that Dan Snyder has no problem drafting a so-called black quarterback. The last one he drafted was RG3 before Mike Shanahan messed his career up. He also drafted Jason Campbell before that. So let's stop making these arguments without having the facts to back it up. And people just stop giving these pro blacks and all these Twitter finger people all the attention because they don't have any facts. They're just a bunch of loud mouths. <laughs> and remember, Jameis, Jameis Winston is still in the league. He threw 30 touchdowns, but yes, he threw 30 interceptions, man. You can't do that. So he needs to just take a year off and cool off. Nobody's talking about that. Have you forgotten about what happened with Tim Tebow when he came in the league? Came in a high point? The same kind of situation like Colin Kaepernick, he's not in the league anymore. That's not racist. What we have to understand is when a QB gets benched, that's most likely the best situation for that player. Aaron Rodgers, one of the best quarterbacks ever, came in, sat behind Favre. Mahomes, whose people are already calling it, might be the best quarterback ever, sat behind Alex Smith for a year. Kaepernick sat behind Alex Smith before he came in. Lamar Jackson sat behind Joe Flacco before he came in. Deshaun Watson sat behind, I believe, Hoyer or Ryan Mallett. He sat behind some scrub quarterbacks before he finally came in. Tua is going to sit behind Fitzpatrick right now because what would you rather happen? Would you rather Tua get sat behind these trash-ass games that we know are going to be meaningless? Or would we rather have Fitzpatrick? Sometimes we got to sit back and not let the emotions control the situations and really see what's going on. Dwayne Haskins was very inaccurate. I mean, this dude, he didn't even have the time or the awareness to understand that the game, there was 10 seconds left in the game. This man is on the sideline taking selfies. The backup quarterback had to go to the victory formation and take a knee. You kidding me? So obviously he's not mature. His awareness is down. His accuracy is terrible. 
He has the football arm, yes. But does that matter if you can't throw it to who you're targeting? Come on, people. We're not at the practices. We don't know shit. All right? People need to stop paying attention to everybody with the Twitter fingers, man, and really got to understand that it's about X's and O's. And people should have really understood that when they saw that Kyle Allen got signed, that Ron Rivera was not playing around with this whole Haskins situation. He didn't draft him. He wasn't a part of that process. So he came over here with his Carolina squad, the offensive staff, understanding that he's not here. He's here on a limited time. He doesn't have any time to waste. So there's only a certain amount of losses that he can take. This is all about business. And a lot of people that's on Twitter and the social media apps, they don't understand business. They have so much time to tweet and do all that other stuff. They don't understand business. They're a bunch of workers that's mad at the world and everything. Let them be mad. All right. Understand that this might be a blessing for Haskins. Give him some time to mature and do all of that. Sit behind some people and learn the game. Your college coach saw you be great, and he said that you weren't even ready, man. You came out a year earlier. I remember the last person he said that about was, like, Mark Sanchez. Pete Carroll didn't believe he was ready. Now, look what happened with him. So maybe people should just let this benching happen and understand that there's a lot of so-called black quarterbacks in the league. And if anything, so-called black quarterbacks, their number one priority right now because quarterbacks, coaches, owners are understanding the game is getting faster. Quarterbacks are going to have to be able to get out of the pocket if need be. You understand? We're looking for more Mahomes, more Russ Wilsons, more Deshaun Watsons. Those are the prototypes right now. The, the prototypes of Joe Flacco's and all those pocket, no, pocket style quarterbacks, it's over. So we can't be talking this race, man. Let's, let's, let's quiet that noise and understand it's about X's and O's, it's about business. You know what I mean? We hope for the best for Haskins, but understand, Jameis Winston just got benched, dude. Understand that. He threw for 30 touchdowns, but he threw for 30 interceptions. So as entertaining as that might be, it can't happen. All right? Let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.